If they don't do the things that you've said need to be done, then what? The president of Mexico is making the rounds on American TV right now, and uh, he wants us to pay up. He wants us, America, to pay up to solve those root causes of the border crisis. And he has a number in mind, actually. With the ear of the White House, President Lopez Obrador proposed his fix, that the United States commit $20 billion a year to poor countries in Latin America and the Caribbean, lift sanctions on Venezuela, end the Cuban embargo, and legalize millions of law-abiding Mexicans living in the U.S. If they don't do the things that you've said need to be done, then what? The flow of migrants will continue. Your critics have said what you're doing or what you're asking for to help secure the border is diplomatic blackmail. What do you say? I'm speaking frankly. We have to say things as they are. And I always say what I feel. I always say what I think. It is diplomatic blackmail. Uh, the president of the country that's to our south, that basically has the open border, is basically like, give us $20 billion for, whatever, okay, Venezuela, Cuba, blah, blah, blah. We want $20 bill, these four countries. Otherwise, we'll just keep sending people. And the thing is, he knows that we, as long as we have an American administration, ain't going to do jack to stop these people. So that does kind of sound like a threat. And now I wanna show you one other clip of him because if you really wanna get what's going on here, uh, there is a movement to figure out how to destroy the United, States, the United States of America. You don't need to destroy the United States of America in the ways that we used to think that you would destroy countries. Oh, you can blow a country apart, you can kill everybody, right? You don't really have to do that anymore. There are ways through importing drugs, through importing crime, through importing bad ideas, general mayhem, get a bunch of progressives in charge who don't defend laws, that you could basically destabilize a whole country. And there are uh, a couple ways to protect against that. Some of those ways have to do with traditions and values and things of that nature. Uh, and uh, listen to his diagnosis of the problem here in America. The DEA says cartels are mass producing fentanyl and the U.S. State Department has said that most of it is coming out of Mexico. Are they wrong? Sí. Yes. Oh, no. Or rather, they don't have all the information because fentanyl is also produced in the United States. The State Department says most of it's coming from Mexico. Fentanyl is produced in the United States, in Canada, and in Mexico, and the chemical precursors come from Asia. You know why we don't have the drug consumption that you have in the United States? Because we have customs, traditions, and we don't have the problem of the disintegration of the family. Isn't that something? On one hand, he's telling us, take all these people in and pay us, otherwise we'll keep sending the people in. And then he's saying, but we have something in our country. Our country, we still have a culture. We still have a language. We still have a certain set of values. We have types of food. We have things that tie us together. Now, America has had that for 200 plus years. We've had the melting pot. Our culture was a culture of freedom. It was actually the most uh, magical culture of all, probably in human history, because it said everyone could be part of it. Uh, but now, because of the woke, because of the importation of all sorts of people who believe all sorts of things that are counter to American values, it's all sort of fraying. And he's telling us that. He's basically saying, yeah, we're going to be okay here in Mexico because we're just going to flood you with people. And by the way, you don't even have the proper defenses to defend your country. So perhaps ladies and gentlemen, we should start thinking about those things that unite us. We should start looking back on our founding documents maybe. We should start understanding that a culture of freedom actually is enough, that defending God-given rights is enough, and that it is good and it has been good, and we better not freaking give it away because it will be much worse on the other side. <laughs>